Hello there guys and welcome back to Reborn with Michael Watson. Today I am talking about letting go again. Well, I'm going on a journey of surrender for 12 weeks. I'm, I'm really purging the inside of my being. I'm wanting to let go of those final parts of me that are still trying to control, still trying to force, still trying to push. And I wanted to document the journey with you guys, okay? Um, also, I'm just going to mention, I'm going to get some new lighting in here because it is just the lighting from up there. It's time now in winter months in England. We're getting a bit murky, a bit dark. I'm going to sort it out for you guys. So I'll be really interested to see what you think of the next few videos. Haven't ordered it yet, though. So just hold on. Let's go into this. So all of you who like Spirituality Simplified, you may not know that I'm doing a 12-week journey and documenting it. I've got a whole playlist that's coming up. I'm going to do the first week because I just wanted to try a first week out before I offer it out there to you guys to jump on board with me. Then keep keep an eye out right i'm going to put a link in in the comments for you to sign up to my email list once i've finished the first week and i've and i've mapped out the plan i'm going to i'm going to allow you guys to come and join it so join the a email list if you want to join along okay also like share and subscribe join my free facebook group and follow me on instagram if you don't mind anyway so i've been trying to let go of some final parts of myself i started last week you saw it in the video not last week this week and this is what seems to happen when you let go. Why does life go all chaotic? When you let go, you know, you've got to embrace the chaos. Now, I'm going to tell you, because when, as you start to move energy, sometimes there is chaos. I'm not saying it's every time. And I don't like to put it in people's minds so they create chaos by accident. But every time I've done a, a, a real sort of purging of myself, some chaos comes up. I'm going to explain what's been happening to me over the last couple of days. So nothing too crazy. I've noticed some things, though, and I want to share them with you. One was I got a parking ticket the other day. I never get parking tickets around here, and I got one the other day, and it was so interesting because I'd been purging a lot of that energy. I've been letting go, feeling some surrender, stuff like that. So it was interesting that life wanted to throw something at me that many moons ago would have triggered me. It didn't bother me now. Uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't bother me because what was I thinking? How do I, how do I rationalise that when it came up? So I looked... There's a parking ticket on my on my car. Well, first things first is I parked there beyond what I paid for parking. So there's not much you can say about that. But the but 99% of the other times when that's happened by chance, uh, no ticket. Uh, this time a ticket. So actually I was just like, well, I'll pay it early. It's cheaper. Also, why would I let something so mini minuscule and meaningless become the god of me? You've got to let you've got to not make gods of silly things that are meaningless. A parking ticket. Right, it's twenty five pound. You know, obviously you could think you could be in the height of uh, of a financial issue and be like, oh, twenty five pound. No, why me? Why me? But again, you're just adding power to something that you do not want to embrace. So in that essence, I just broke it down as in such like, oh, oh, well, I was there late. I've not been caught the other 10 times. So technically, it's only an extra two, two pound fifty a park that I've had to pay in the long run. You know, so it's like that's so meaningless. It's so meaningless. I've noticed some tension in in uh, relationships, you know, n like things that trigger me in those areas have been rising up. And the trigger has been rising up because I'm opening the, the casket of the energy, you see. I've noticed that. But actually, again, this is what I want you to do if you're going to join me on this journey. You must embrace this bit of chaos because it's your greatest teacher. So many people think that they need to meditate all day to become spiritually awake. No, life is going to teach you. Life is going to be your best teacher. And you really need to understand that. I don't care whether it's your partner, your children, your work, your this. It is you trying to teach you something. Ask life to teach you. And so... What you do in that moment is instead of now becoming all encompassed, so some of the, honestly, some of it that was coming up was quite overwhelming, <coughs> you know, but you want to take as minimal action from that space. When I noticed myself in that space, I actually got out of the situation because I don't want to take action from that area. So I got out of the situation. I observed it. I went on my walk. I got dinner for the night. Uh, all of this within about half an hour relaxed released didn't didn't sort of embrace the energy uh it left went back and everything was start seemingly going well here's an interesting thing that's happened i'm not drinking on this journey i don't drink drink but you know i was drinking a little bit regularly in enjoyment of alcohol 
Um, and I've just noticed with this energy release that coffees are like, I'm feeling the sort of wowness of the coffee. Uh, so I may reduce my coffee as well because it's um, it's it's an it's a mad energy. And when you're becoming very sensitive to energy, you want to be mindful of what is taking from it. What is substances that are going to sort of like uh, push your balance out of the way? You're trying to find balance at the end of the day. So you want to be mindful of all of these things. What is the sort of lesson that I'm trying to bring from this really is that as you start to let go, life can become chaos but you must find peace within the chaos <clears throat> that's the whole point of the spiritual journey yeah it it seemingly like i've had more chaos come up in other uh sort of purges of mine but this chaos you know you just see it i'm a couple of days in now and you're just really noticing it starting to find balance it's finding balance you know i'm not i'm not feeling like i need some sort of achievement you know, like I need some sort of manifestation now to keep going. Uh, the achievement is secondary. Life will start to manifest and create wonders from this place of release. So really, achievement in all of your manifestations is secondary. You want to just start to let, make it all about what is life trying to teach me. This is what I'm doing over these 12 weeks. What is life showing me about myself? You also have to, this is the questions you have to ask yourself. Who is it inside me that sees that problem? Who is it that has notices my opinion on that problem? You're not the opinion. See, your mind is going to make up an opinion about it. But you're not the opinion of that situation. You're the one who notices the opinion. The real you. So this is why I've started to make an online course at the moment around letting go. Because I think it's so important to teach the truth about awareness. It's like awareness is the true you. And it's the divine you. It's the the spirit. It's the connection. It's the the soul, if you will. Now, some uh, you know, real surrender, you know, real intense surrender teachers will say you don't have a soul. Well, I tend to, I, 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 I beg to differ on that one. It's our spark. It's our, it's our spark of the divine. So think of your awareness as the light. The more that you sit in the light, the more you illumine what is in front of you. The more that you bring illumination and life to that which you wish to have so it's like you don't i've put my awareness on the emotional reaction because when a light shines on the darkness the darkness cannot exist anymore and so it leaves my body so that's the sort of uh, simile or the description of the battle of god and the devil you've got the divine god within and you've got the reality, which is like the, the devil that so I tries to fight against my divinity. And as I am a, become aware, I, I allow the grace of the divine to uh, banish the darkness. So this is the mission that I've been on uh, these last couple of days. And I'm just starting to feel the lightness of it. And this is three days. If you've not done this before, trust me, go through the 12 weeks. But I've been doing energy work for a long time. So I'm already starting to notice a release. It's, it's just interesting how my body's reacting to things like coffee and all that because it's finding even more balance. So when you go deeper into this, you really start to notice that your body, your body's sensitivities to energy. So it's really good. I found it really uh, amazing and empowering. And uh, what do you think? How, what do you think about what's happening on my journey so far? Comment down below and remember to like, share and subscribe.